Hi everyone, and welcome to Kimiagar. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of henna, also known as Mandy. In the next few minutes, we'll explore what henna is, how it's made, and why you should always choose natural henna over black henna that's loaded with dangerous chemicals. Let's get started. So what exactly is henna? Henna is a natural dye made from the leaves of the henna plant, scientifically called Lawsonia inermis. This plant has been used for over 5,000 years across cultures for body art, hair dyeing, and even medicinal purposes. Think of the stunning bridal designs in Indian subcontinent weddings or the elegant patterns in Middle Eastern celebrations. Henna is all about beauty, joy, and heritage. Now let's get into how a henna paste is made. It's a simple yet fascinating process. It starts with the henna plant. The leaves are harvested, dried, and ground into a fine green powder. This is the base of our paste. Henna powder should be stored in airtight, moisture-proof packaging and kept away from heat and direct sunlight. To make it, you'll need henna powder, water, acidic liquids like lemon juice, colder tea, or coffee, essential oils as a solvent, and optionally sugars as a humectant for dry climates. Here's the science. Fresh henna powder contains between 1 to 2% laws on pigment. It is not freely present in henna leaves and its precursor is called hennicide. These transparent hennicides undergo hydrolysis when henna powder is mixed with water, cleaving Lawson dye from glucoside unit. These free Lawson molecules are yellow in color and are capable of binding with skin proteins. Lemon juice or alternatives like apple juice helps maintain a pH of 5.5, optimizing the hydrolysis process. Other options include cold black tea or coffee due to their acidic nature. If the tap water has an acidic pH, then it can alone serve the purpose and is safer. Some henna artists prefer adding essential oils, high in monoterpene alcohols like lavender, tea tree, or eucalyptus globulus air to dilute the free and hydrophobic Lausanne dye. Pro tip, in dry climates, adding sugar keeps the paste moist by absorbing environmental moisture, ensuring better dye transfer to your skin. Skip sugar in humid weather to avoid thinning. Once all the ingredients are mixed, let the henna paste rest for four to six hours for optimal dye release. This is a key for a rich shade. Apply it to your skin or hair with a cone, brush, or even your fingers. Wait two to four hours for skin or longer for hair, allowing yellow Lawson dye to bond with keratin. As it starts oxidizing, the stain shifts from yellow to rich reddish orange. Rinse with tap water and expose the skin to fresh air. This concludes the oxidation of the yellow Lawson dye and let the design fully darken. Avoid moisturizers as they block oxygen. Since skin cells naturally exfoliate or shed away, your henna art will last about two weeks on the skin. And here it is, a beautiful natural color design, easy and totally safe. A word of caution, not all henna is created the same. Beware of black henna, a deceptive and unsafe alternative. Traditional henna is 100% natural yielding warm reddish-orange to reddish-brown tones. Black henna, however, promises jet-black stains but contains toxic additives like paraphenylenediamine or PPD to achieve a darker shade. PPD, a coal tar derivative, can cause severe allergic reactions, blisters, and even permanent scarring. So why choose natural henna? It's safe, rooted in tradition, and a chemical-free choice. When shopping, check the ingredients. Look for 100% natural henna powder, not black henna with PPD or synthetic dyes. Here's his tip. Real henna is green with an earthy scent, never jet black or chemically pungent. Thanks for watching. Stay natural and safe. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, click the bell icon and share with your friends.